afternoon, morning, evening, you know, whatever your geographical location says, your time of day is. How y'all people doing? Go ahead and go out on a limb and say that the uh, weather here ain't my best friend. But it is what it is. You know, you got to go out and do what you got to go out and do, whatever the weather is and and temperature and, and things of that nature. Uh, checking on your strong friends. Go ahead and get that out the way. Check on them, check on them, especially this time of year. Weather bad, not a lot of people can get outside. People away from their families. You know, things of that nature. Check on these folks, man. Check on your people. Because uh, you never know what they could be going through at this particular time of the year, which is also um, a very tough one. Wow. Bro. Wrapped up. Man, what? What the hell you thought, nigga? It ain't 75 degrees out here. <laughs> Let it flow. Isn't it Let it flow. Was swaddled up and shit. Boy, what? Who you think ain't gonna be swallowed up? You know me. Hey, yeah, I'm, that's why we, that's why we going to the island. I'm look, nigga. I'm you know I'm in the house, so I know. I ain't you know I ain't got the the echo go. It go too loud in my in the house, so yeah, we gonna have to. We, we gonna get you know that's gonna come down to the fact that we're gonna get the studio with padded walls. Oh, that. brother, you you, you, you know <laughs> that's you know that's coming in the works, man. Yeah, we both got to be comfortable, so when it comes to absolutely. That. Brother man, let me go ahead and uh, cheers to you. Oh, cheers to you, brother. Good day. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, sir. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to get people in, uh, online, let them know that we own. We live and in color. That was my first sip of the day, so that buffalo was kind of warm. Who? That's your what? That was my first sip of the day, so that buffalo was kind of warm. Uh, what, happened, what, what happened to the uh, What happened to the wake? Oh, no, no. Oh, I you? had things to take care of this morning. The weather wasn't conducive oh. to what I had going on. I got you. Yeah, that's Makes the weather sense. that ain't conducive. Okay. Y'all use it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you hit y'all already across the air. We ain't even started yet. Bad, bad, Damn. Bad. Watch your chin, goddammit. Keep your chin to your chest. Anyway, you know, you know, check on your friends right now, man, because with the weather. Absolutely. The holidays, you know, when we was, me and bro was in the military, and they'll tell you this all the time, that uh, this time of year is tough and rough for folks when they can't get home, can't get right. people, you know, it's, it's just emotionally a bad time of the year. Yeah. Uh, so check on your people, man. Uh, I, I was just checking on a few people earlier today, yesterday, the other night was rough, because um, I counseled a lot of people, man, and it's, y'all pray for me to have the strength. To have the strength. There you go. Everybody else. That's the real deal. Holy field right there. Let you know. You got pe- you got people out here that that's actually, you know, going tied to shit. other people. And, 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 and these people are legitimately going to some shit. Are y'all folks that's complaining about? And I got it. You know, your stress level is perspective. I got it. It's about how you look at it. I got it. But. Just, just, just think about people that's, you know, with this weather out here, folks ain't got no place to live. You know, Facts. They ain't got no food. They don't know when their next meal is coming from. Facts. You know, you got a church on every block, but their doors are closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, we're not going to get into that one today. Yeah. But I'll say it again. You got a church on every block, on every other block. That's reading from this book that y'all love so much. That's been the number one bestseller across the world for decades. That's supposed to be the basic instructions before leaving Earth. And y'all only using it as a justification to do what you want to do. But don't think about what people used to do in the name of that book, like in mm. entire colonies kill off entire generations of people in the name of that yeah. book y'all love so much. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's perspective and how people look at it. We ain't gonna go too far with that, but I was just, yeah. you know, yeah. I was having a conversation this week. You know, oh, that, okay. That, yeah, yeah. That, that makes, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I, had a, I, I was you. having a conversation this week and got real deep into some shit like that. So, so, so if y'all don't, if y'all don't, if y'all ain't caught on, 
in the first five minutes of our little, you know, our segments, always our episodes, like if something happened during that week, we got, you know, we got about two minutes that we don't let off on, you know, just to, just so you'll know that. Whew. Yes, <laughs> I'd be like, boy, boy, if y'all don't drive me to drink, goddamn, I'm putting up these fifty cups. That's that day up. But anyway, let's cause we got that out the way. Y'all check that part back in, cause some of y'all feelings are hurt on that shit. A lot of y'all. Some of y'all feelings are hurt. But keep yeah. reading that book y'all love so much. Anyway. Um, <laughs> That's why I call it that. I don't call it shit up to that book y'all love so much. That book. That book yeah, y'all love. That book. So, man, last week was a great conversation. Hey, mm-hmm. talking about, you know, what your person likes or what your person don't like. Well, what really what they don't like. What they but don't like. What they think do you it. What they think you do. Right. Don't, you do it. Do it anyway. They think they like it. What they don't yeah. like, what you think they like. And, and, you know, how it comes down to if you don't like it, and you continue to let them do it, that's your fault. You should have said some shit in the beginning. So you can't be mad at that person. Now, Absolutely. this week, we gonna got down. We're gonna, we gonna reverse it. it. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, reverse, we gonna it. reverse it for y'all. We're gonna yeah. reverse it. Uh, if you got somebody out there in your cipher, your circle, your world, that does something that you like, but you ain't told them that you like it. Or they just doing it because that's what they used to do. Yep. Now, greatness, T Matt. Yes, sir. Head brother. Of fitness in the building. My thing is about that. That if they're doing it, uh huh, because that's what they used to doing. Uh huh. They're wrong. Oh, why? Yeah, you see, you didn't think I was gonna come from that angle. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Cause now, like, I gotta hear this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm gonna lay it out. I'm laying all okay. the way. I'm a red carpet for y'all. Make it real simple. You know, Barney style. <laughs> so I'm doing something that I that I like. Okay, I like uh-huh. it. Big deal. No, well, it is right. a big deal, but I like it. Right. But you're doing it off of what you're used to doing in your past relationships. But see, they liked it. Yeah, they liked it. That's cool. And now you like it. I don't give a fuck what John like. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying you like it. So why are you gonna stop it or 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 say something if if because if I haven't told you I liked it, that means you just doing the shit because you're used to doing it. But it's good to you. But I have I told you? Have I told her that? I'm nope. confused, bro. I ain't saying shit. <laughs> I ain't saying shit. It's cool, bruh. But she, but oh, okay. So you don't like toothpaste in the sink? Nope. Got it. Can't stand. You y'all in there brushing the teeth together? Uh-huh. You know, just coincidentally. Okay. She accidentally boop, drops a piece in the sink and oh. she wipes it up immediately. Immediately. Good shit. That's- but she was doing that before. But that ain't got nothing to do with a dude. <laughs> That's just good home training on her parents. Good on you. <laughs> you got trained not to leave no goddamn toothpaste in the sink. you got your shit rearranged. Okay, so okay, so we talk. Okay, so we talk about the the gobble gobble two thousand. Okay. So she done she done she done went from the all the way down to the balls all the way back up. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, if you're doing that kind of shit, you stay your ass away from me. <laughs> she figuring and flickering it. <laughs> She going at you stay your ass where you at. Don't come over here. You know you got that shit. No, because I will. I will leave your ass. I, I ain't about getting stuck right where you at. I will leave you. I'm like, I right. is he coming back? No, I'm not. Um, don't no, you gonna pull a Rick Ross on you? <laughs> I'm ghost. I'm ghost. Man. Man, I gotta go to the bathroom, man. I'll be right back. I'm about to be invisible to the motherfucker. <laughs> don't you bring that shit over here? But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just saying, man, like, she doing all that, and, and she was doing, now, you love it, right? You all into it, it's, oh, my gosh, it's the best thing ever. I ain't even had to tell her that I like this, but she doing it all just naturally. Mm-hmm. Yes, she learned that in the past. I don't care about that part. But, but so what? 
I'm glad that you're bringing you the game now. Fair. That is absolute fair. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, mm -hmm. how do you know how to please me if I don't tell you? You ain't never met me before. Fact. You ain't never met me before. And it's cool. Red, bro. Like, like I said, she might I, have I, I, I'm going to embrace it wholeheartedly. I don't give a fuck what she did before me. She could be a she could have been a whole porn star before me. I don't care. So super super head. Super right. Yeah, I can't deal with that shit. You keep that shit to yourself. She was a I don't want to talk about her. We're not gonna talk about her. Anyway, you keep that shit to your goddamn self. Yeah, you just more with a silence for super head. <laughs> God. Oh. Oh that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You, you, hey, if you like it, I'm a, I'm a, if I tell you I like it, cool. We can we can rock and roll from there. But if you're just doing shit off the nugget, and I understand that some people, when they get in situations, they gotta they want a motherfucker to explore and you know yeah, yeah. do all yeah. that other shit yeah. and whatever the case yeah. may be. Look, let me tell y'all something about that though. That homicidal maniac Christopher Columbus thought he was supposed to be where he was at. But he didn't get there. <laughs> he just so happened to... Oh, no, shit. We've been at sea long enough. This must be where I'm going. No, you maniac. That's completely... Anyway. Oh, you supposed to go that way. You went this way. <laughs> so let's get to it on that. I don't, I don't understand it. Like, coming to your relationship, man, with some shit on your mind, some conversation, it ain't about bringing shit to the table. Most of the yeah. time. Yeah, it's it's about the conversation. Yeah. Can we host this? Can we host this conversation yeah. about anything can, and everything? Can we sit down and talk to each other? Because if I'm with somebody new, it ain't about what you bring to the table. Because me and you gonna make our own table. Bing, I already, I already got a table. I, I'm saying my life is that. Now we gonna make a table between us. You gonna have your table in your individual life. I'm gonna have my table in my individual life. And maybe if we get cool enough, we can bring them tables together. It just all depends. Yep. But people need to cut that shit out. But anyway, that I can't deal with that. I'm a I'm a I'll fuck around and go off and tangent on that shit. I won't come back. Man. Bro, we gotta tell you. I'll go off. Well, how y'all yep. feel about that? Y'all, y'all, you know, if that person just uh, that, that table talk gets on my nerves too, bro. It really does. Yeah. It, it does, man. Like, what are you bringing to my... Oh, yeah. See, we see you finna get me started. See, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. No, no. <laughs> we're gonna get to that shit. I swear to God, we're gonna get to that shit because y'all motherfuckers and that's in providing and shit. Oh, it's gonna that, come up. That 50-50, 80-80, 60 40, like... You know, what can you yeah. provide for me? Oh. And that, hey, you know, we're going we gonna to end on this part. And that's why you're in the situation that you're in. Because mm. you think like that. Mm. So you keep looking for those men that love to do that. And those men love to. But we'll, we'll digress. We'll let you We'll let you marinate on that while we keep on yeah. that subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that thing. Y'all just got to come up with the shit. Have that conversation. What's up, big bro? Yeah, bro. What's up? What's good with you? What's good with you? Um, yeah, I got to talk to you later on today too. So we'll get into that. Uh, who do y'all like me? Uh, for real, who I do you like, I, I really can't cause I'm, I'm so wishy-washy sometimes, man. And I'll admit it. Uh, I'll admit that shit for real. Cause I'm a different but person. But it's a lot of people, bro. But, yeah. but that's a lot of people though. Yeah. A lot of people. So you, you come into this thing where you say, I'm, um, I'm going. I'm going to be free. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm. I'm just going to come in and be relaxed. And this, and that. But you know what you like and you don't like. Right. Right. So if you know what you don't like and you know what you do like, just get the shit out the way in the beginning. That way, if it goes left, it's their fault. It's that fucking fault. Because at the end of the day, if you can look in the mirror and be like, I did everything I knew I was supposed to do in the relationship to help things, because you can't make shit happen. Can't make shit happen. To help mm -hmm. things go forward. Go smoother. Smoothly. 
no speed bumps. Well, the minimum mm-hmm. amount of speed bumps, the minimum amount of potholes, and everything. Yep. They're gonna come up regardless. It's just yep. nature. Oh yeah, it's like hit a pothole life. That's life. just the way. It is. Yes. Yep. But if you can, but how many are you gonna hit consistent? Right. Consistent. Right. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. As many as possible. Because you got, like Gus said, like you check all the positive boxes with your significant other or whoever it is, even if it's not your significant other, but whatever you is in the relationship, your situation, whatever it is, man, wherever you at, why you can't, why not, why not make that smooth? Right. Why not perpetuate the smoothness? What's up with the, ch- you know what? I'm going to see what they can do. I'm going to see. If they like this, I want to see how much they. What the fuck? Well, I didn't I... like testing school. Why are you testing people nowadays? We grow. Why are you testing people? And it shouldn't be no test. It's either you like it or you don't. No, you don't. Plain and simple. <laughs> that sounds like too easy to me. That sound like it sound easy. like too much. It sounds too right. That's the problem, bro. What it is. When it's right and it's easy, everybody has to overthink it. And everybody it. overthinks it. And like I said last week, I'm an extremely simple person. You come up to me with all that goddamn who, what, when, what, and the weather. Like, what are you overthinking shit about? What do you want for breakfast? <laughs> Facts. What are you simple. thinking about? Like, either you want pancakes and eggs, or you want waffles and sausage, or you want bacon and biscuits. Like, Say something before I fucking like go in this kitchen and cook something you don't like the shit. God damn it. You got to open your motherfucking mouth. Open up. All you got to say. Ah. And then and then when it comes to, uh, well, well, I don't care. You pick. Okay. All right, man. Then this, this Look, one. We, I don't we like going that. over here. I don't, I don't like that. that. I don't like that saying uh, closed mouth don't get fed. That's closed stupid. mouth do get fed. You just end up eating some shit you don't want. You didn't want burgers, but you let me pick. I wanted a goddamn burger. I wanted a motherfucking burger. Now we had a burger joint, and you sitting and there you, staring at the list talking about. I don't know I what don't I want. Like anything on here? Whose fault is that? Whose fucking fault is that? <laughs> Facts. You should have said your goofy ass wanted pizza. <laughs> it's asking now go sit your goofy ass at the table. And get a burger. Oh, you go find something on the list you want. You fries. It, hey, hey it's a, it's a, I guarantee it's a salad or a chicken sandwich on this motherfucking Let's menu. Do something. You get better one. do something because you shouldn't have left or, it with me. Or you're going to be starved. One or two. And I'm not picking up shit on the way home. Hell no, because I asked you beforehand. Now we can get to the house and you could take your goofy ass back out in this weather. <laughs> you can stop me. Take your pick. <laughs> hey, baby, where you going? Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. all, right. all right. I'll see you when you get back. Hey, can you bring some napkins back with you? Something. Love you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating this goddamn sloppy ass burger. I ain't got time for this shit. I ain't playing with you, man. Man, tell people hey, what you like. Fix, fix that. Fix that. It, look, it, dudes, if you're doing that, you're wrong, too. If you're doing man. that, you dead wrong. Dead wrong. But fix that. Yep. If you want something to eat, you tell them what you want. I want a vegan burger. All right, cool. Well, we making two stops. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to, because you said it, I'm going to go get you. Because I'm not eating shit vegetarian. Let me nah, I ain't dead yet, player. Big people are harder to kidnap. Let's go ahead and get that shit out of the way. I'm 240 I am very hard to kidnap. For yeah. y'all motherfuckers that want to watch y'all waiting all that shit, good on you. Don't get with me, because I'm going to feed your ass. And I'm going to take you around my brother's house, and all we do is eat. That's all we do is eat. And if I take you to my grandma's house, she already told one of my girlfriends a long time ago, baby, where's the rest of you? Grandma, she didn't leave half her body in the car. This is, this is what size she is. What the fuck kind of question is that? We eating this. We eating this family. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All across the board, from A to Z. I don't give a fuck who house you go to. Your ass is gonna eat something. <laughs> oh, I'm not hungry. Play that card if you want to. You'll be oh, safe. Okay. You get kicked out. 
<laughs> Drag on that front door. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Take her with you. Take her with you. Man, we yes, sir. I don't get it. Tell people what you want, man. It's that's, that's, it's that's that simple. Why, as human beings, do we have to complicate life so much? Ah. I'll wait. Ah, bruh. That's like the million dollar question. It, like you said in the beginning, is so, so simple. So simple. Like life is so simple. But it's like, damn, is it that? We've been trained to think that the simple shit is the hardest thing to get. And I don't get it. Like in life, you know, everybody knows if you follow your God given gift, it leads you to riches. Your happiness, your wealth, and it, it, direct line. But because of all the bullshit in between, you can't get there. You got to go to work. You got to listen to your parents. Your parents ain't teaching you how to get there. Your auntie and your uncle ain't teaching you how to get there. Your friends ain't doing nothing. Everything around you is not leading you to your gift. But when you get to, when you're in the middle of your gift, you're the happiest person alive. Very easy. When you're doing easy. exactly what you want, ain't shit negative around you. And people, and you've known it because everybody has seen it. Oh, yeah. Everybody, oh yeah. When I was playing ball, when shit around me was going wrong, because I was doing what I love to do. Yep. If you are yep. happy, one, let's go ahead and get this out the way. You got to be happy by yourself before you get with anybody. You better tell them, bro. Because I told y'all that. I don't is, think y'all hear that. It's self. Self is happiness. Ain't nobody on this planet put here to make you happy. Nobody. nobody. Nobody, buddy. You got to be your happiness comes from within. Y'all done heard this shit before. It comes from within. So if you want to sit there and act like, well, I'm, he's supposed to make me or she's supposed to make me. No, they're not. No, they're not. You keep waiting on that. Yeah, they, they will facilitate your happiness. <laughs> but they're not here. They're not here. They weren't born. They weren't put here. My soul may fuck that shit. Um, y'all can go ahead and take that shit and kiss your whole ass with it. Like, put your head between your legs and kiss your ass. <laughs> now, that's going to be harder for some. Because some of y'all out here with no ass. And I got that. Dudes, too. Yeah. Got to put two wallets in the back in your back pockets to make it look like you got one. <laughs> I got it. But you, you, you keep you keep living your life like somebody else is supposed to help you get to happiness, and watching shit in one hand and wishing the other, see which one fills up first. I'll wait. I'll wait. Cause your ass shit ain't gonna get on it. It ain't right. <laughs> now you funky, and I don't nobody want to be around your ass. Cause you stink. Yep. Yep. You stink. That's what. That's what that. Did. Hey, bro. That's what that neck. That's what that negativity do. It's bullshit, and it's it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's hell yes. Don't nobody want to be around you with no. that bullshit. No, every time you talk to somebody, your your life going bad. See, because some of y'all people, and this coming inside that book y'all love to read so much. Some of y'all people only like to talk to your friends or your good people around you when your shit's fucked off. And that good book says some of y'all only like to talk to God. When your shit's fucked when up. your shit's fucked off. You don't never talk to like to talk to nobody when your shit going good. Because you feel well, like you, you don't need them. You don't need them. That's it, bro. That's it. Hey, I talk to I talk to I talk to them when, when, when I get back down where I was. Right. But while I'm here, <clears throat> I'm gonna enjoy this. Why y'all don't talk to somebody? Why don't y'all ever call somebody and give them good news? Hello. I don't, anyway, let me, let, I divert. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I digress all the way. Not divert. I digress. Let's get back. Ladies, ladies, right. ladies, y'all got anything? No. <laughs> no, they don't. Because what happened, motherfuckers, is not telling they do what they like. That's a fact. Or don't like for that fact. You know, go ahead and bring last week's conversation back into this. Half these motherfuckers walking around here, dudes, males and females. Because I, I got to wish you washing. Don't tell them what they want. Hey man, I don't like it's that. A, it's hey, a challenge. I don't like that. Oh shit, yeah, I like that. That's cool. We can do that. Mm -hmm. Or whatever that is, keep doing it. Why? Why is it 
Y'all just gotta let a motherfucker like explore and discover and all this shit. Well, that's the fun of it. Fuck that. The fun that's of it is not fun at all. The shit that you like. Can you imagine not waiting three months or a month or two weeks or however long to get to to for him or her to find that spot? When you could just told him right off the bat. Y'all better stop playing around. Hey, my spot's here, here. I mean, there's some of us out here that just, we're naturally gifted yeah. at finding things. Yeah. So yeah. we will find it before you tell us anyway. So yeah. it wouldn't matter. And then we're going to we're gonna explore and find another one that you didn't even know about. So that, Got it. That's not the normal. That's 1%. We're talking to you 99%ers. Right. <laughs> right. That need, hey, you need to explain that to that guy or that girl. Yeah. Because they don't, they don't get they it. They don't get it. Like bro said earlier, they're going to bring what they did in the last relationship that they liked into this circle. Look, I'm going to tell y'all right now. And then some of that shit's not going to work. It's not. It's not. Because these females is different out here. People are like, oh, all men are the same. All, all females are the same. That's a damn, that's the biggest lie of told. The fact that you keep saying that still lets me know your, your mind is in high school. It's because you're trying to you talk yourself into yeah. it. Whoever fucks you over in high school, you still thinking about that nigga. Mm. Or that female. Or that female. One or two. Y'all better cut that out. Y'all better let them right where they better at. grow up. In the past. <laughs> Bingo. Let's be grown about <clears throat> these things. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it ain't even just walking around with life, like in the bedroom or or whatever you do every day to day, like you can't like cut that shit out. I don't like when you bite me like that. Boom. And you may not tell them right then in the scenario because you ain't trying to fuck shit up. I got him. <laughs> you trying to get to where you need to get to, and I got that part. That last step in yeah, life. Yeah, I, I got that. I got that. And and that's yep. cool. But in your post coitus. Clarity. This conversation needs to be had. Yeah. After the like, hey, so you seen that yesterday? You know, I just want to bring this to your attention. You know, when you when you clipped your toenails right there in the bed. We had a problem. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. Take that shit in the bathroom over the toilet. Because that's why I got my toenails down. Yeah. Yeah. Let that shit. Look, like, look, don't do that. Don't do that shit no more. I do not like it. It's disgusting. The fact that you did that shit in the kitchen, like I'm not mm. <laughs> that whatsoever. See, yeah, like don't that conversation. Don't. Or, or, or this is what's gonna happen. <clears throat> you're gonna go through your normal life, what you've been doing. Yeah, you like him or her, y'all, y'all vibing and everything. But then she goes back into the kitchen while you're cooking and flops that foot right there on that table and gets to pick it. And now you feeling your whole mind, your whole body, everything in you has changed. You don't even remember what you cooking. Now your whole body fucked up. You didn't say shit. Now your whole body fucked up. Now the chicken burnt, the damn mashed potatoes is all day, day potatoes, all right? Yes. <laughs> the motherfucker's still ain't mashed. Mash browns. <laughs> Like, nigga, you don't fuck around and you thought you was cooking dinner. You don't fuck around and ended up cooking breakfast. Let's talk. Look, <laughs> like, you got to let people know when shit fuck with you, man, while you not doing shit that you're doing. Don't be driving and y'all on y'all way somewhere and bring up a topic. A strong topic, man, where you know it's going to be an argument. And you don't fuck up the whole vacation. You don't fuck up the whole vacation now. You know it's gonna be an argument. No, man, we we hold that till you get to your where you going, or when you get back. When you get back, <clears throat> because you don't like the way that motherfucker suck their teeth when they eat. Like, wait, <laughs> nigga, you are not. Uh, bro, uh, well, you know what? You know what? Maybe when you get to the spot, you tell them that. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 then, matter of fact, you don't. This is what you do. See, I'm I'm different. Let me give y'all a little, little uh, snippet into my mind. There you go. If, if that shit is messing with you, she eating, record her ass. Record them. Once you record them, right, then you go have the conversation. 
if they want to argue back and forth with you, just say, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Watch yourself. Since you didn't want to listen to me, watch yourself. And then ask them this question. Is that shit attractive to you? Oh. Is that? I don't think it is. Oh, no, it definitely won't be. Is it sexy to you as I got to watch? No. No. Every day. All day. That's one pillow, pillow, one pillowcase, no bed. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> you didn't write me no, no, um <laughs> Let's talk about that shit, man. Look, y'all people like that. Like I said, don't wait for months and months and months. Like it that should that build up. Be, I, and I understand some of the shit that they do doesn't reveal itself to after a certain amount of time. I got that fact. But as soon as it reveals itself, like if you like whether you plan on staying with somebody for a good period of time or whether they, you know what I'm saying, they just what them kids calling now sneaky link. What what is sneaky link? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever that shit. Yeah. yeah. Have that motherfucker look. Invite that motherfucker over somewhere. You don't want him to know where you live. Cool. Go get a hotel. You don't want to know. Yep. You don't want her to know where you live. Cool. Go get a hotel room. Yep. Yep. Because now y'all eight months down the line. Going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth. You didn't realize that this motherfucker snows to high heaven. And you can't take it. And you can't do shit about it now because you already you don't invest in too much time. Yep. Everywhere you been, you put her ass to sleep or put his ass to sleep and he go calling the hogs. And you know you can't sleep, but yet what do you do? You take you it. be quiet. You roll over. You turn the mm-hmm. TV on. Cut it loud. You cut your music on. You get up and sleep in another room. Like you do all this shit that you're not supposed to do, but then you turn around and have a have a conniption fit. Oh, <laughs> eight months later, a whole fit, eight months down the because you had no idea this motherfucker snow is all outdoors. <laughs> oh, this motherfucker choose with their mouth open. Or this motherfucker, mm. look, and one of the most disgusting things on the face of the planet, this motherfucker bites their nails. Oh, hey, man. shit. I bite my nails, I can't say that. That shit's nasty as fuck. I know. That's boy. I, 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 I... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, sometimes you just got to get it. It's a piece right there. You just got to get fuck it. Fuck that. You ain't Quick got to be here. Had this whole buffet. And then uh-huh. over here lean and try to kiss me in the mouth. Not the fuck you're not. Nope. Hell no. Nah. That that is nasty. Don't nah, be coming over there doing all that extra. <laughs> <laughs> that's just turned my whole goddamn stomach. Oh and I can't man! Get myself because I brought it up. That shit's nasty. Yeah, yeah. That is shit. Mm-hmm. Duh. That's like house fly nasty. That shit's. Uh, mm. No, you was you got it. Oh shit! Like Bruce said, you got to do better. You can't like all the goddamn nail clippers in the world right now. Could nobody tell me they don't have at least three pair in their house, Bruh. So hey, for 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 some people, it's a it's like a habit. It's a like nap- a, worse than yeah. Smoking. That's just what, like, you smoke, like, you chain smoking cigarettes at that point. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. Yeah. And I used to smoke yeah. cigarettes, so I know how my mouth felt after smoking a cigarette. And you, it looked up right. Look, this nigga, Courtney, I mean, this brother, Courtney, told me he would rather me chew tobacco than a smoke cigarette. That's a fact. And I hate, smell. and I hate tobacco. But I'd rather, I'd rather you, I'd rather you spit and smell that nasty motherfucking square. But you bite your nails. Yep, got it from Momo. Well, I'm on you. I got it, and we and had it. I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it. Yeah. I'm breaking that habit though, because I, I know it's nasty as hell. But I'm breaking that habit. <laughs> <laughs> That's like y'all putting fingers in the ass and shit. I ain't fucking with it. See, same thing. What does that have to do? With you? Wait, nasty. Mm. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> oh, bro! I had a conversation at work, dude. They was talking about it at work. 
Hey, for y'all don't know, man, bro. So he, I had to pull the clip up. He, he I pulled the clip up. <laughs> bro, they was they was crying. It was like, man, you know, my girl, she. I said, you a nasty motherfucker. See, this is why I don't eat at work. You nasty motherfuckers, man. <laughs> y'all, right, man. Ugh, and he bite his nails. Uh, see, he do both. He like the finger in his ass and he bite his nails. See, some nasty motherfuckers, least, man. Hey, at least he ain't biting her nails. He might be. <laughs> she, she might be biting hers. <laughs> shit, you nasty, dirty hey, dog. Hey, he gave you gave somebody potluck. Fuck that work potluck shit. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. Hey, don't go to work <laughs> eating all that shit. It ain't cool. You can't You can't do that shit. You don't know what they doing at home. Some people if they nasty at work, you can just imagine how nasty they are at home. And, and look, let me and go they, and tell y'all. And they bringing you cookies. How you can tell about a motherfucker that's fucked up at home and not even been to their house before. Don't know this person from Adam and Eve. Look inside their car. Mm. They car gonna tell you. Car tell you anything. I guarantee you they car gonna tell you. Because if they car fucked up, they house fucked up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I ain't or check their desk. And I ain't talking Look about that vacuum that motherfucker out. I ain't talking about that. Nah, we talking about trash. Yeah. Find the trash. Like, hey, bro, when's the last time you've been to Popeyes? Just ask them a random ass question. Walk by their car in the parking lot at work and look inside that bitch and then ask them when's the last time they've been to whatever fast food joint. Oh, man, it's been about about two weeks, two, three weeks, man, since I've been to Popeyes. box been sitting in your car for two weeks? No. No. Mm Mm-mm. Because if you got a house, your trash can on a curb or in a garage, you don't walk past that motherfucker for two weeks. Hey, no, no, no. Think of this now. Two weeks? You done moved the trash can down to the road so they can twice. come pick your shit up twice. twice. And you just bypass the car. And ain't nothing from Popeye's, maybe except for their chicken tenders, that you can eat without any remnants. Right. Because that's chicken bones in that bag. There's some two, three fries that you didn't eat in that box. That's that half of that dry ass biscuit you didn't eat that motherfucker because it was choking the shit out you. <laughs> you still got half a goddamn uh, red beans and rice in there. That's something. The macaroni and cheese. Nigga, that's something. In that guy. In that box. box. Or that fat. You got an open pack of the hot sauce. Something. Honey, nigga. There's yep. something in that dish that you done left in your car for two weeks and your nose got yeah. desensitized to it. Because it's used to smelling it. Yep. Back see what I'm saying? And then you and, mm, see, we, see, and then you then you bring that motherfucking pot of chili to work. Don't nobody want that shit. This is what this is what we talking about. What you don't like and what you do like, man. We ain't talking about just relationships, man. We talking about the people around you too. And I do not want food from your house when there's food in your car. Stop. Nope. It. Food in your car that's been sitting there. Like you don't bring, you not bringing a, you not bringing a fresh plate of nothing no, to work. You no. eat out every day for lunch. So why are we walking by your car seeing McDonald's? And I look at it like this: if you got that coworker that eat out all the time, them motherfuckers can't cook. Not at all. Ain't no way in hell. So what if you oh, come back. to the house? Somebody else cooked it for you, or you ordered that shit take out and you put that shit in another container and then brought it to work. Stop it. Don't do You're it. You're nasty. That shit's nasty. The shit that I don't like. And I do like. Mm. I don't like this. I tell you what, check the people that are always bringing silverware to the goddamn potluck. Look, they ain't shit either. And I'm going to no, 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 no. I applaud them. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If you can't cook, bring the silverware, bring the ice, bring the soda, bring the bring bags the... of chips. Bring, bring that shit if you can't cook. Like, don't don't throw yourself out there checking recipes on Google the night before. If no. you ask, ain't, can't cook, don't put forth that kind of effort. Just bring the, the shit that don't nobody else want to bring. Yep. Yep. Don't nobody care about the plates. No. We're going to forget that there's we, we out of plates. Bring the plates. You brought the plates. See, now you're the hero. Because you brought the plates. But I do not want to be checking on who made this goddamn macaroni salad. I don't give a damn who made the potato salad. The shit is green. I don't want to touch it. And it came from Little Buddy House. Little Buddy got cats. And he can't cook. And he shit on the sink. 
I mean, shit's on the goddamn toilet seat. I so cats. I I know what you do. I hate cats. Let's go ahead and put I, I hate cats. No. If, if you got no. cats, I can't fuck with you. I can, but I can't. It's small though. I hate cats. Yeah, very small. Very small. I hate cats. If you got dogs, it depends on what kind of dog you got. It depends on what kind of dog you got. It, it has to be a short hair. Because if I walk into your house with anything black on it, <laughs> and I come out your house looking like I was hugging your dog, and I didn't even touch that motherfucker, yeah, we got a problem. Man, look. No. I can't deal with yeah. that. I mean, yeah. I, as, no. br- as, you can, as you see now, all our brothers tapping in and they're letting y'all know we, yeah. we throw down. We cook. We throw down. It's a, hey, you know why? <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give y'all women this secret. And y'all can get mad, whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't sleep with you. So, um. With that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't sleep with you. So, you're, you're, I mean, I love y'all. I love y'all. Trust me. I love, love all y'all. the people that's following us. I love y'all. But when it comes down to these women, these females, your feelings to an extent are irrelevant. Because I do not sleep with you. In fact, I, I don't care about you. But anyway, our mothers and fathers, because I had a father growing up, his name was Cedric Thames. Absolutely. I have a father now. I have two fathers now. One said Alfred Ray's another one's name was Cedric Thames. And a lot of father figures over my life. But what I was taught by my grandmama, my mother, and my aunties is to want a woman. Not to need one. Not need. There's no need. There's no we need. don't need shit in our households. You're welcome. But we cook, clean, laundry, the brother. I do all that shit. We do all that <laughs> shit. We do all that shit. Matter of fact, that second bathroom at the Courtney house get cleaned twice. Because that nigga comes right behind me. <laughs> that creature habit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to hey, watch this shit. All right. Ain't no point. But yeah. Yeah. So that's what we do. When it like really comes, God damn. I gotta get my shit all up. Keep that shit a secret. Keep that shit a secret. I don't want to tell nobody. Anyway. Um and, and look, and even in T Max say, hey man, man, you got my pops. Mm-hmm. Hey, we look we're a big family. Yeah, we a very big family. And you're more <laughs> than welcome. But let me explain something to y'all. And this is off topic. Ooh. Somebody got to explain this a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> don't look. Just because you got one person, one brother's attention, don't get excited. Your ass ain't done. Yeah, we are, there's a lot of us. It's a lot of us. And we ain't testing you because we don't do that shit because that's childish. But we definitely mm-hmm. going to push your goddamn limits. And I know that may sound like a test, but it's not. Um, it's not. I'm going to number two pencil and fill in, fill in the bubble trying and no shit like that. And we're going to scan that motherfucker and make sure you got all the right answers. This is straight life. Hey. If all if 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 what I'm asking you is troublesome to you and you with one of my brothers, huh? <laughs> baby, you ain't gonna make it. And see, again, like bro said, you got a lot of you got a lot of these questionnaires to go. It ain't tests. But you got a lot of these questionnaires to go through. I'm nosy. Before you get the final, I'm nosy as fuck. I'm man, what? Anybody want to know your ins and outs? I'm nosy as shit. Come here, let me talk to you for a minute. Right. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. You know? like because said, we again, again, see, I, I watched the episode on um, on I Am Athlete about the the Marley family. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know he had a son that played in the NFL for a second. Who? Uh oh! See now you make me think it's now. Oh my god! See, okay. I can't. You gonna hurt yourself? I'm at the. I'm at the look it up. You gonna hurt yourself? I'm gonna hurt myself trying to find out because yeah. because I've oh. never heard of him. I, this one. I never heard of. But what he said was, he said we are so tight knit that everything that we do, we think about the family first. Mm-hmm. Anything and everything that we do is family first. All right. If 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 I go this route, is this gonna? You see it? If if I go this route, is this gonna be? Hindering on my family. 
Mm -hmm. Am I going to protect my boys? Am I going to protect my, my, my brothers? Am I going to protect my sisters? Is, is this going to hinder what's going on in this circle right here? And if it does, if we do it anyway, and it does, you got to come see the circle. So if we bring a man, if they bring a man or a woman, speak, strictly speaking about my brothers, they bring a woman into the circle, we all have to drill their ass just to see if they can hold weight. Because if you, like we said last week, pressure does one of two things. Either it creates diamonds or it busts pipes. Are you going to be my diamond in the rough? Or are you going to be my septic tank problem? Mm. Mm. We didn't have too many of them. They called baby mamas. <laughs> <laughs> That's another topic, man. That's another topic. Not about what yeah. you should pay month to month, but <clears throat> when it when it comes down to being in situations and, and relationships with somebody that got kids, man, that's different. It takes a different yeah. kind of person to do that. Yeah. One, it takes a different kind of person to fuck with me. Yeah. Because I ain't rap type. You yeah. can't be rap type. You, you, you can't tie your shoelaces tight if you fuck with me. You can't. <laughs> no. Because I'm loose in a goose. Oh, My man. Is, Telling you, we all got some kind of fucked up. And if you can't handle that kind of fucked up, baby, you might as well go in and find what you call normal. Cause it ain't here. It ain't here. We are we are definitely weirdos around this motherfucker. <laughs> so here. so think of this. So imagine imagine when you was in high school, you'd never seen like the definition of a weirdo because you seen the nerds. And you seen the jocks. There was no in between. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you found the in between right here at Jack and yeah. Knowledge. We, we are the in between. We are the nerds and the jocks at the same damn time. And Built I'm different, look, Russ said. And I was slick like that in high school, just couldn't nobody can tell because all they did was focus yep. on the on the athletic part. I yes, sir. Am squirrel shit nutty. I am. I am. <laughs> You know why I know I'm certifiable? Because I've been committed before. I am certifiable. I look, Fact. I've been in that Fact. clinic before. Fact. Hello? Fact. But, yeah. When it comes down to talking about what you want and what you don't want, you better say something. You better sit down and talk. Because <clears throat> you're going to run across some guys like ourselves that are going to give you the kid and caboodle. We're going to give you the... Oh, gonna, you get it. Because we... Because we've grown yeah. so much to, to where there's the the, the, the the wall has to come down. Yeah. Because the wall only only on the wall yeah. only hurts you. As long as you keep that wall up, this, this all you're vulnerable. Yeah. yeah. Because once somebody crosses that wall, they got now you. you give them your all. You got that. Yeah. And now you put the power back into them. That's what that wall is for. Yeah. <clears throat> because the person that you tear down your wall, you let everybody walk through. Yeah. And you tell them exactly what you are, who you are, what you like, what you don't like. So if they if they come, they come through, good deal. If they don't, okay, cool. Um, you as a person is not vulnerable anymore. Nope, I'm not losing nothing. I'm not losing anything by telling you exactly what I am supposed to tell you. I'm supposed to tell you about me. Yep, and I'm not losing because I haven't told you about it. Like the power, <clears throat> like people think... At that point, you're giving someone else all the power. The power. You're not. Mm -hmm. you're exactly, not. bro. The power stays with you. Exactly, bro. If you, you, you're not giving up anything. How am I giving because up Because you anything? don't have the wall. You don't have the... See, we've always been... We've been constructed up here to... Hey, man, you get hurt, build your wall up. Fuck that. Build your wall up. No. The fuck... What, what what good does that what good does that do me? What good does that do me? Every goddamn five steps you you, you build a brand new wall. What the fuck is the point of that? Actually, one is exhausting. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that shit out the way. <laughs> oh, shit, Trying to man. hide your imperfections <clears throat> or what nature or society would consider imperfections of yourself is exhausting as fuck. Telling someone. I mean, you. Every time you tell somebody, you get something off of you. Yes. You get something off of you every damn time. Yep. Off topic, but this is still life lesson learned here. This is some knowledge for your ass. 
Every this is, time. This is still dislikes and likes. You just got to add the shit together. Right. Every time you tell somebody something about you, you get something off your goddamn chest. Mm-hmm. And every time I tell somebody my story, that shit gets lighter and lighter every time I goddamn tell them. Every test testimony. It gets lighter. Break, break that word down for people that don't get it. Because I'm going to tell you what's me. And you going to not tell me what's you. Who losing in that situation? Who losing? Who really going to be fucked over at the end? Because you're going to fuck <clears throat> out on something. Because you decided to not tell me who you are. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Because if you fuck with me, you ain't touching no doors. If you fuck with me, True. you ain't touching no trash. Back. If you fuck with me, I'm like, there's little bitty shit. Like, to me, it's all yes. about the little shit. But, you know. As bro said, lighten the load. <laughs> yeah. We have, it's, it's so much that we care. Because, again, we're family oriented. So, when when I'm holding something, I'm, bro. Bro, Doug's here. OJ's here. T Max here. JC's here. It's a this is like I said. We had a bunch of us. It gets like so you start spreading it around. When you come in with the little stuff, just the yeah, the tidbits here and there, and it ain't got to be nothing. Again, nothing material. This is all mental, mm-hmm. Men, mental, all up here. It gets like every time. Y'all don't understand that shit. For y'all <laughs> talking around, holding on to shit. Think you ain't got nobody to tell about it, but you got a circle. But you don't look if you, you can't tell your circle. circle your deepest, darkest fears, them motherfuckers don't need to be around you. Nope. Nope. If you can't trust them with the shit that really burdens and attacks your mental and physical and spiritual, feel uh, goddamn physical, them motherfuckers shouldn't be around you. Not at all. Not at all. Because if They're I have somebody over here that I can only tell about my physical. Like, yeah, this knee hurt, my back hurt, shoulders hurt, neck hurt. And I got this motherfucker over here. I can only tell about what's going on with me spiritually. And this motherfucker over here that's only talking about me mentally. Why can't you do that with all the motherfuckers? All of them. Now, granted, everybody's not built no. to take it all. No. But... They are built to sit at the table because they have an ear. I'm telling you. Because they have a they third eyes over, so they listening and hearing at the same time. You fucking yourself over and the people around you over if you can't come to them with your shit. Yep. My shit's Wasting heavy. time. My shit's heavy on my own. Yeah. But when I can tell OJ, when I can tell JC, when I can tell Watts just sitting in the chair getting my hair cut. When I can goddamn tell Big Toon, when I can tell T-Mac, when I can sit down there and tell Courtney with his goofy ass, even though, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> he, he that dude, but there's he certain things you can talk to him about too. When I can tell all these people around me, I can tell Candace, I can tell Alicia, right. I can tell Sashay, I can tell mm-hmm. Tracy, I can tell all these people about shit that's going on with me. Regardless, even if I'm repeating my story, and it sounds like I'm a broken record, but it's somebody yep. different listening. Uh-huh. You ain't different got broken perspective. Record. You ain't a broken, you ain't broken record. Because all record. those, every one of those people have a different aspect on life. It's not again, not not to preach just about me and bro, but there's not a lot of people that think like me, bro, and OJ. It's not a lot. There's not a lot of people that can just right. tone in and handle that that one specific, not even one specific, but we can see through this eyeglass, we see everything. Yeah. Versus everybody else see through this eyeglass and all they see is the physical. All they see is the mental. All they see is the spiritual. And that's great to be at your circle because they're stronger in that suit. Right. You shouldn't ask them to do right. multiple things. Don't ask. That's another thing. Don't ask everybody in your circle to do to be multiple people when you know exactly who they are. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, Keep that in mind. There are layers of friendship. Some yes. Are only worthy of weather conversations. So y'all don't don't know like conversation shit that just happened randomly. For for <laughs> I'm translating for bro. It's important to identify which layer they are in. Mm-hmm. And whose job is that? It's yours. And ain't nothing hard about it. Mm. 
what is see difficult is when you try to come to someone about a certain conversation or with something that's going on with you and they come back with you with some random bull. Ah, uh, get over it. Like, go slash that bitch tire. I mean, that female tires or whatever the case. No, nah, but that's not what I want to hear. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. want to. That's mm-hmm. not what I need to hear. Let's go ahead and switch that out. There that's not go. what it is. That's not what I need to hear. Go cheat on mm-hmm. her, bro. She cheated on you, bro, man. You need to go find something. In that's not what, that's not healing. That's not the people that's, that's sitting at your main table. That's not healing. At that point. Yeah. Because me going to sleep yeah. with somebody else, exactly what is that going to do? Nothing. It's going to compound the issue. It's going to compound the issue. So you got to know who you talking to, what you talking to them about, mm-hmm. and take with a grain of salt or take to heart what they come back to you with. Because like Blood said, it can be counterproductive. Oh, yeah. You got people in your life that's going to give you some advice that's going to be counterproductive. You got yep. to fight for the difference, though. Yep. Yep. And see, when you know they're counterproductive, you you then in your mind know, okay, this is this is not who I go talk to about this situation. Mm-hmm. And they'll let you know. They'll and, let you know. And, and, again, if y'all, if people would just... Listen. <laughs> Listen. They tell you exact. People tell Listen. you exactly who they are. Listen. Exactly. Listen. It's because of your genitals, your your sexual area, and your mental. You're not focused. Is because is is the reason why you go through the ruts that people go through. And hey, look, it's me, because you're not you're not toned in. You're hearing, but you ain't listening. Let me explain to y'all. <laughs> not go to someone of the opposite sex. About relationship problems. Stop that, bruh. Stop it, bruh. Everybody's not in tune and wants you to progress. You again, you're not you're you're not in the one percent range. Okay, you're not talking to the guys like ourselves, dude. You can come talk to us about relationship issues because we we ain't trying to get with you. No, but if you go talk to your best friend or that boy that's been in the friend zone. That's been in your DMs for the last year. That's been giving you all types of conversations. He, he sees that as an opportunity to get out the fresh ground. Man, what game? Come nah. get, come, come get this. Come to the house, and then it's some, it's some cats out there that's just like us. Because I used to be that guy. <laughs> it's some cats that have that that level of of frequency, that level of vibe, and we will take that to our advantage. Yeah. Come on to the house. Let me cook you this breakfast. Let me cook you this dinner while you while you having this conversation. Here, take the shot. While we having this conversation, so they ain't gonna do nothing to tell you opposite of what you're saying. Girl, you know what this female did to me? Does that? Oh, I wouldn't have never. Look, if they respond never. with <laughs> whatever you say, I would never do that. I would never do that. They that look. That's your sign. You know, uh, motherfuckers about to get bro, by the by the time we got to that verse. We had already got me inebriated. It's it was done. already good, good and tipsy by then. It's done. Girl, you know I'd never do that. You, you too done. fine for all that. It's done. Look at you. Stand up. Stand up. Look at you. Turn around. Let me see. Cause I've done it. Mm. I've done it. I ain't gonna lie. Straight there, man. Oh yeah. Still, I mean, I, hell yeah. I mean, <clears throat> shit. See, look, you would have called me about goddamn ten years ago. Girl, you know I would have never did that shit to you while I'm holding your hand, looking you in your eyes and shit. And like, why, why, why you look? Why you doing that? This nigga is making me some steak and potatoes. Oh my god! Yeah, you out of there? Wine pouring, drinks pouring. Yeah, we look. And now she Got thinking. Him. Now she thinking. Well, he would have never. He don't do shit like this for me. What? I, <laughs> there you go. It's a wrap. But at that point, time, hey. when I get you thinking that, it's over. I got you. Hook, line, and sink. Hey, what? What we say a long time ago, bro? If I get if I get you up here, the panties drop anyway. This is right. Everything after that follows. Mind over there. Yeah, that's easy. Because if you don't easy. mind, I don't matter. But you know what I'm saying? When it really comes down to it, as soon as I get you thinking to yourself, my man ain't never did that, your man is no longer an issue. Not a lick. It's all about what we doing right here, right now. Yep. And next thing you know, like yep. T Max said, just Marinating the buns. Man, they clap. Because I know how to cook them, goddammit. Hello. On. Look. <laughs>
Come over here with them hams. <laughs> Come on over here with them hams. I don't think like that now. Look, I'm different. No, 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 no. See, this is this is past life. But you know, mind. Look, it's but but hey, I'm telling you, what? 30, 45 minutes later, your legs shaking. I'm in the kitchen. Like Will said, you know how many women be surprised that I can cook and hold a conversation. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> look, See what I'm saying? Because they don't do that. Dudes, are, look, y'all make it too easy. Oh, my God. Y'all make it too Bruh. easy. And you know them cats, male and female, male and female, that are so worried about everybody else out in the world is because you know in your head you ain't doing something right. Boom. And we oh. said, and we've talked about this before. Go back and find mm-hmm. them old shits. It's somewhere now. We talked about mm-hmm. this before. There's something that your ass ain't doing right. Yep. And you have no idea what it is because you don't sit down and have them conversations with your other. Right. But there's something you ain't doing right that you know right. for sure. Like how many times have people said it for decades and decades and decades? What one person won't do, another motherfucker will. Mm-hmm. You know you ain't doing it. It ain't about doing everything. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. about doing mm-hmm. what. Go back to the top of the conversation. What they like. What I like. What they like. Yep. You know mm-hmm. if your check if your check me like come on, you know some other female check me like don't ever come on. Boy, oh boy. Well, for them dudes that oh. can only for five minutes, <laughs> and you doing that shit like it's hot soup. There's a brother out there that will make them tap out. That get ears deep in it. Ears deep. I mean, all the way up to the ears. Like he put la- la- Ladies, up. while my brother's speaking on this, I'm going to give a pub- public service announcement, okay? Mm-hmm. It's a public service announcement for all men that have beards. Ladies, whether you're with them or you're not, okay? If you feel on his beard and it's dry, sit on his face. Give some of that organic moisturizer. There you go. Quick, quick public service announcement for you ladies, so y'all know. But I know some females don't like doing that. What I'm gonna tell you why it ain't. It has nothing to do with sexual. Nothing to okay. do with sexual. Okay. Some females don't like doing that shit because when they look down, they don't like how they body look. Got it. So they thinking my body look like this from up here. What is my body what is he like seeing from down there? Yeah. 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 That okay, ain't let's fault. work it out. That ain't our fault. That's their that's they fault. That's their fault. Absolutely. Because my beard is still dry. And I, I need some moisturizer. Help me. <laughs> help I need that. Help food. you. <laughs> Just saying. Fuck around and sit on my face. I'll eat my way to your heart. You better stop playing with me. <laughs> I take your soul. <laughs> See, out here playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> and I won't get that motherfucker back. Mm-hmm. I don't get them shits back. I'm Shane Song. No. I don't get them shits back. I'm a, yeah, I'm, no, no, no. We, give me your soul. I don't I don't play around with that shit. So so you know when we get it, we'll we'll take it. We'll take it, ball it up like a basketball and put it in them uh in the machines. You know, when you shoot at the day buses and shit balls come back to you. That's that's what we do. Just reuse them. And like Bro said, look. If I'm doing it right, I'm not seeing shit anyway. I, what? What am I seeing? I, I can see right. I like look. I look up. I like to see titties. Yep. Yep. Titties. Whether you got them or you don't. Whether you a cup all the way. Like we saw the chick with a 48 the other weekend. Like mm. that's all I see. It's titties. 48 hey. is a big bunch. That's a lot. I'm not trying to catch no black eye, but I'm I'm going. I'm like, damn, them motherfuckers look good. They look good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Yeah. Female. Yeah. yeah. Touching the brain, really giving her knowledge. You better know it. Stay, hey, you female, stop putting it, yourself down. Stop. Yeah. It. You may not like what you see, but somebody out there do. Again. Just do this one time. See what it feel like. Oh, that's a little dry. Hey, baby, let me uh, go and lay down on your back. Okay. Plop. He won't have a problem. I, I guarantee it. Well, you can do like the corny do it. Just eat it from behind. 
I think that's the show. Uh, it's been real, and um, you know what? I'm gonna go on, uh, go on in the house, and uh, yeah. I don't know what the fuck we got going on, and this is the end of this. This is not how it's supposed to end. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck that came from. We are not doing that. Yeah, Rosie. <laughs> Y'all some nasty mother. You know, I, you know what? While we're on the topic, I'm trying to understand, fellas, like the ones that y'all like y'all shit, just like, just your face. The you like the girl face. Females, do you like them bend over on the bed and you stick your nose like on the top of they? I'm just trying to get an understanding of what this shit is because I have no idea. I, I'm just so I give you I give you a prime example of experience. I'm gonna give you one time. This is it. And you lucky bro brought this shit up because this was never gonna be put out. He brought it up right now, so I'm gonna tell y'all. Back in my heyday, <laughs> a lady friend tried me, right? She was, you know, giving me the, you know, the gobble gobble sixteen thousand. It was amazing. And she, you know, started sliding down, you know. Licking on, licking on the bones. So I was like, okay, yeah. And then she got, you know, start going look, look down. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting a little, mm-hmm. bruh. I promise you. She tried to lift my legs up, and that right there, pink, pink, two pieces in the forehead. <laughs> got my shit, and I walked out the door, and I never seen her again, bruh. I'm scarred for life. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, right. <laughs> I never, ever, 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 oh, ever, shit. ever. You hear me? Ever, 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 ever. Mm-mm. Oh Not shit! Happen. My face hurt. Oh, bruh, shit. I, bruh, I tried to kill it with the two piece. Like I tried to JC her in the forehead. I really did. I tried real quick, like beep beep. But it wasn't quick. It was one of those who, who, I, I, like I, oh, I was trying to put her to sleep. Fucking bitch! Oh, How the fuck are you gonna try to? T- oh god, I'm hurt. Did she? Did, no. Here's the kicker, though, bro. She texts me later. I never knew that. And gonna, and gonna say, well, you know, uh, all the guys like it that I be fucking with. <laughs> Oh, mm. oh shit! I'm hurt. Oh, oh shit! I'm in this box with a So nasty. So nasty. So that. So you, you, now y'all get a, a clear understanding why I will never. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking. Shit. Bend over, legs up in the air like that. All that is fucked. Oh, I'm hurt. Ew. Oh God. So that's my story. But I'm never telling that story ever again. So oh. y'all better, y'all better clip that shit. Oh shit. Fuckers. Hey. Bring it up, assy. That's so nasty. Fingers in the ass, like bro. I'm hurt. Hey, I'm all the way hurt. I'm be laughing for the rest of the goddamn night. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Bro, matter of fact. That was after a 721 moment. You remember Club 721? Yeah. 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 And you know how fucked up we used to be leaving 721. Yeah. That bitch tried me, bro. I sobered up so quick. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you know, we went over there with the whole party bag now. The whole party bag went with us. Oh. Bruh, I ain't told Courtney this. Courtney was in another room. Hey, mm. I think some of y'all about seven twenty one. Oh my god! One, it was a good bit away from the house. Yeah. Yes. And there was yes. look. Jesus, take the wheel. Like there's no <laughs> way that we should have ever made it back to the house leaving that motherfucker. We should have never made it to the restaurant and then to the house. Oh god. More the club, 
Man, you know how many times we used to go to the Kitty Kitty after leaving 721? Kitty Kitty don't close till 7 o'clock. In, for, okay, so for all y'all that don't know, Kitty Club, the Kitty Kitty is the Ebony Club. The Ebony Club used to be a strip club that was that didn't open until midnight. Oh, it just stayed shit. open until 6 o'clock in the morning. So we leave 721 and go straight to the Kitty. And yeah. I'm yeah. Fucked. That was one of those nights, though, the Kitty wasn't going to be jumping. And she was bad too. Oh, she was bad. That ruined everything. If 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 anybody out there is a visual, is a like a mental person like I am, and a men- visually mental person, like bro, seen all that. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hurts. <laughs> that shit hurts. God. That shit hurt all the way. Oh, man. That shit hurt all the way. Look, understand this, folks. Hey, bro, serious about that shit. This, that, this is not a game. Right. This is not a game. That They can really, bro, get really sick about it. And that's why we always bring it up, just to see his reaction. Like, Yeah, that, they want to see me throw up. That shit. That, <laughs> that shit. I'm telling you. These, this shit's for Ugh. this shit's for real. I love it. You gotta do it. You know we gotta put on each other's buttons every once in a while because you do that shit to me all the time. Absolutely, but, got to do it. That shit's hilarious, yo. <laughs> y'all really get into this, man. Look, yeah, no, 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 yeah. bro's for real. Hey, for real. he's for real about it because he he really gets he really gets. That's just not lack of a better That's word, not- no pun intended. He is real anal about it. Um, that's that's fact. <laughs> that's a fact. no pun intended, but he is real anal about that. For real. Oh. I don't know what it is. We look. We'll get to the root of the problem one day. Besides, no, that, we won't. That story. No, hell, no, we won't. Look, that, no, that story. See, was you, all, you already got the you already got the main course. That story. There's no appetizer. There's no dessert. You just got the main course. You don't need nothing else. The reason why I'm scarred for life. That's it. He tried. Me. There you go. Whew. I'm not gonna tell you the other two. The other, there's two more. I'm not gonna tell you them. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm. You talking about somebody that almost went to the hospital? <sighs> I needed that. Bro, I'm a, I, I JC. I JC one of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't keep doing that, man. That shit. Man, him. Him. Like, <laughs> <straight. laughs> I'm out. I quit. I quit. I can't. Hey, we'll see y'all next week. I can't. Quit. <laughs> this shit's stupid. This shit's stupid. We're going to talk about this topic for next week, but it can't be this. Or it might be this. No. Who knows? Um, oh, fuck no. I might have to do the show by myself next week. Because yeah, I said this is the topic. He ain't going to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talking about eating ass, bro. We're going to be throwing up by the end of the night. Oh, okay. If we doing this next, I'm coming up there. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm coming up there. Yep. Y'all heard it fresh. Yep. Next week, we will be live. Fuck all that. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna have this conversation like this, dude. No. I'll be there. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm gonna have a couple of them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Test the water. Mm. Who? Huh? What? Hey. Fly, he talking to you. No, everybody good. Everybody good. Everybody good. <laughs> the message got across to the person that needed to get across to. Um, oh, okay. when it comes down to it, man, look, y'all trend up, man. This shit was hilarious towards the end of the day. <laughs> like, yo, like, we got the topic out, man, I wanted to be getting out, but then towards the end, we kind of tailed off. Y'all know how it go. Um, get over here. Um, <laughs> don't know. We're not going to bring up what Ronnie did to Diamond and Players Club. That was no, no, disrespectful. No, no. no. Um, yeah. Bro, you want to die? You want to die twice? Look, we're, we're gonna. <laughs> you don't want to die twice. 
<laughs> I will revive your ass. I I am my mental is law abiding citizen. I will torture the shit out of you. Hey. You try me with some shit like that. Oh, it is going down. I'm hurt. Oh, just wait till next week. Wait till next week. I got a whole. You know what? I'm gonna tell the two stories next week. I'm hurt. I'm gonna tell two stories next week, bro. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. laughing all day about this shit. I swear to God. Because I know somebody's gonna bring it up and I'm just gonna start laughing about the shit again. Yep. I just can't. I don't know. You nasty motherfucker. I should have killed that woman. I should have killed her. Man, you can't. Don't do that. Oh, uh, no. No, she, she tried that. to buy that me. Mm-hmm. Hey, we got, look, T back, you got to be in on this one. We got yeah. We gonna have to get these. Yeah. These well, we are gonna chime you in on this one, bro. Just just for the shits and giggles, we gonna chime, we chime you in on this one. We gonna have to get these. I'd be damned if y'all just gonna allow this. No, we gonna get some travel. We gonna get some travel plans together. You gonna be on the other side of the camera. Me and T Mac gonna be in on this shit. It's gonna be look. Oh hey, no, what? we. Hmm. That's this not gonna be a two part, three part type series, man. We ain't finna talk about ass three, four, four. Five, six, seven, eight times. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Ain't nothing to figure out. You heard? No. I'm going to talk to T-Mac this week. It's okay. Don't worry about it. T, that's what's wrong with y'all, man. Yeah, y'all I'm crazy. Talk, yeah, I'm going to talk to T-Mac this week, man. Don't worry about it. We're we going to figure see, it out. You should, that's why you should never bring like-minded people together. See, but see, they get to doing the shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Hey, man. OJ, can you help me, brother? Uh-uh. Can you come back? <laughs> Nope. OJ gonna take the back. He he good. He good. OJ got it. Cause you you know he gonna you know he gonna goddamn do the sis. That's the last person we need on there to talk about it. Cause he, I felt sick for all. It felt like a week. You know, it's only a couple of days. Don't worry about it. It's good. It's good. We gonna work it out. We gonna work it out. We gonna make it happen. We gonna make it. Happen. I'm not excited about this at all. Bend up. Bend up. Check on your strong friends. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get the corny in on this shit, man. I'm telling you, everything's gonna be great. Hey, so guess what? When people start stop listening to R. Kelly, didn't nobody asked him. nobody stop listening to R. Kelly. Well, there we are. Didn't nobody discussion. Because that nigga Because I'm the I'm his number one fan. Black (laughs) black panties was just stupid. Didn't nobody stop listening. Bro, they don't understand. They don't understand. I don't give a fuck yeah. when nobody starts. <clears throat> Didn't nobody stop listening to R. Kelly. I ain't going to listen to him nope. no more. You lying ass. Yes, you are. You lying. Yes, Because I guarantee you, when, when, when you're watching Players Club, it seems like it's ready to come on. When Diamond get the stripping right there, you you are going to watch yeah. it. Yeah. So stop. That means you just listen to oh, the stop. song. Let's 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 cut it out, people. Let that brother listen. it seems like he's ready. Yep. And it seems like he's yeah. ready. Yeah. But either way, yeah. we're going to make it happen. No, I'm not. So, bye. Man, thanks, I ain't talking to you. Man, we love All you. Right, love you, brother. Y'all trend up. Yep. Check on your strong friends. And at the end of the day, regardless of what you're going through, man, push through it. Everybody got something they're going through. Literally. Everybody. Everybody. Nobody's in a good place. Nobody. So Hey, if you if you need a motivational song, it's not really like a Somebody talking. Devin to do anything. Mm. Go look that song up. Go listen to that song. Repeat that song. Keep that song in your mind and your mental. Because anything is plenty, man. Everything will work. It's going to get greater later. I find 2022 is a year. Thanks. If you ain't rocking with us, then you already you already jacked up. You fell. You fell. You fell. You fell. You fell. Yes, sir. You don't hear and get these laughs, man. We love y'all. Empower, not devour your friends, people that's close to you. Don't drain them. Don't drain them. Don't drain them. Keep that in mind. Build them up. All right, man. Build them up. We're going to get out of here, man. We love y'all. Love you, brother. Love you too, bro.